In this tutorial, we will be cutting a classic square layered haircut, suitable for both men and women. This mannequin has a slight wave and wants to enhance the texture and movement. Before starting our haircut, we assess our client's hair texture, wash, cleanse, and then map out our zones before starting. I'm zoning from the natural parting and then from the apex down to the air on both sides. We start with a centre profile section from the apex down to the centre nape. We direct our first section straight back 90 degrees towards you and the wall behind you. Our cutting angle mirrors our section. Our next section runs parallel and is directed back to the previous. If you find it hard to control all the hair in your sections, use a sectioning clip and clip up each section working down the head shape. This will help you to work cleanly and with precision. We repeat this process until we reach the curvature of the head shape. At this point, we over direct back to this section. This helps to maintain our square corners. To cross check our haircut, we take horizontal sections directing straight back, ensuring we have a square cutting line. We now repeat the same process on the opposite side. If you struggle understanding the difference between round, square and triangular layers, you should watch the playlist above and learn all three layering techniques. It goes into great depth with comparing the difference. It's an amazing seven minutes of mastering the fundamentals of all the layering techniques. I'll link it in the card above and in the bio below. We now complete the back zone with overdirecting our last section back to the curvature of the head, maintaining our square corners in the shape. It's important to maintain your body position whilst cutting a square layer, standing square behind each section. It's important to continue to cross check your work, working through the haircut to maintain even balance and precision. Take a moment to step back and assess your shape before moving on to the side and top zones. We now take our guide from the back zone and cut a square layer through to the front hairline. This will become our guide for the front side zones. If you would like to see a square layer cut on women's hair, check the card above or in the bio below. And if you have learned something new, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. This is my classic square layered haircut. I now comb the guide into the side zone, directing my section 90 degrees straight out towards the wall. I use this direction with all medium to shorter length square layers. You'll find in my other square layer tutorials, I direct the hair straight up to the ceiling. This is to maintain maximum length in the sides for long square layers. This process will take out maximum weight in the interior whilst keeping the corners at the hairline and at the top perimeter of the haircut. If you have learned something new or if you value my work, do me a favor and support the channel by liking and subscribing. We continue to cross check taking horizontal sections, directing our sections straight out 90 degrees towards you. Standing back and assessing our work before moving to the opposite side. We continue the same process on the opposite side. Let me know in the comments below if you're a hairstylist or if you're a hair cutting enthusiast. I'd love to know 
Also, let me know where in the world are you watching from? I love cutting square layers because I find they create a more modern shape whilst maintaining length in the perimeter and maximizing volume in the center of the head shape. Just a reminder, it's important to maintain even tension, hydration, body position, elevation, and hair distribution to create a balanced haircut shape. We now move to the top zone using the corner from the side zones as our guides. We complete the top zone cutting a square layer. It's important to maintain even tension and hydration throughout the haircut. Once we reach the fringe zone, I'll be slightly over directing each section back. This will increase the length in the front, allowing the shape to be worn back off the face shape. This technique helps to add volume and texture to the hair while maintaining a square shape at the ends. It's commonly used to create classic structured hairstyles, an amazing tool to reduce weight whilst keeping the length in the corners in the front and back. I now simply point cut a square soft line in the back zone to complete the haircut. So this was the before and this is the after. This haircut's a classic wash and wear, but this is it without product, enhancing natural texture. I'm using a little bit of sea salt spray and a small amount of styling cream emulsifying the product and working it through the head shape. I then use my diffuser and diffuse down on a 45 degree angle, allowing the haircut to dry in its natural form to create this easy to style effortless shape. When brushed out, the shape can look more conservative and corporate for a lot of guys that I guess wear suits or like to have that kind of longer crop haircut. I've now wet the hair down and directed the head forward, elevating the fringe and the, the hair up whilst diffusing to stimulate and activate maximum curl. So I can show you that this shape can also look like a short men's or women's shag haircut. It obviously works a lot better on a human that has a better curl pattern than this mannequin. But you can get the the idea from seeing how the shape's evolving. The hair over to wear as a side fringe for maximum height. And here it is, a classic square layered haircut, enhancing natural movement and texture that can be worn as a shag or a corporate style medium length haircut. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to watch this one next.